Hey guys, so it's Christina again. Um, I have a new question that someone sent me for the Healthy RN question and answers. So let's get right to it. So Nicole asked me just the other day, I'm graduating nursing school in three months and I'm wondering how you're able to stay hydrated well and eat healthy meals on the days that you work. And also, what about working out on days that you work? How do you fit it in? So to answer the first part about how do you stay hydrated well, um, I've talked about this on my blog a lot and I talk about it in a lot of posts. I think it's really important to stay hydrated, obviously, um, especially as nurses, I think we are um, always busy, so we tend to not think about water, but you need to be hydrated in order to take care of your patients um, effectively or else you'll start getting tired and lethargic. Um, and you just don't want to be dehydrated. So anyway, so what I do is I just bring a big water bottle to work every single day. Um, I fill it up first thing in the morning or first thing when I get to work. So I know I definitely at least have to have that amount allotted. So I always say, um, and this is per the 21 day fix program, which of course is one of my favorites that, um, what you want to do as far as aiming for hydration is to take your body weight and divide it by two. So whatever that number is, um, the divided by two is what you should be drinking in ounces per day. So for me, basically I have to be drinking at least two of my big water bottles. Um, I basically, I think the one that I have is 32 ounces. So I just fill it up first thing in the morning. Um, and sometimes I drink a whole thing of it just during my workout because when I'm doing my workouts, I get very winded and, um, you know, they're challenging. So definitely you want to stay hydrated during your workout. So that's part of my water intake. And then throughout the day at work. And then when I get home, I always have water next to me. Um, so if that doesn't work for you, um, you know, I have some ideas on my blog about, you know, maybe flavoring your water if that's a problem. Cause I just personally love water. So it's not an issue for me. Um, you can try lemon, cucumbers, you know, fruit infused water, but, um, really, Definitely aim to be drinking half your body weight in ounces and um, yeah, just keep a really big water bottle with you at all times and nearby so that you know how much you should be drinking throughout the day during your shift. And yes, it's going to make you have to pee a lot, but that's just what you're going to have to do in order to stay hydrated um, because if you don't, you're going to feel very tired. Um, as far as eating healthy on the days that I work, I've talked about this a lot as well. I like to meal prep as best as I can on a weekly basis. I usually try and do it either Sundays or Mondays. And for me, what works is to make my lunch entrees and portion out all my snacks for the week. Um, it just helps me stay on track because if I don't plan out my meals, especially my lunches for the week, more than likely I'm just going to get whatever's available at the cafeteria. I happen to have a very sensitive stomach. so. That doesn't work for me all the time because I end up with a stomach ache. Um, I end up eating stuff that might have more oil than I prefer or butter or just ingredients that I'm not even aware of. Um, and for someone like me who has a sensitive stomach, that doesn't work. So if you plan out your meals, um, I think that's a very good way to stay on track, especially your lunches, because then number one, you're saving money. Number two, you know exactly what you're fueling your body with. Um, number three, it makes things really easy. Your lunch is already there. All you have to do is reheat it and you're good to go. Um, and I do talk a lot about that on my blog and that's why I post a lot of my recipes or pictures of it because I want to give people ideas of, you know, what it is that I'm eating. And I try and make things that are really easy. I don't get complicated because I really don't have time to be complicated. I mean, who really has hours to spend in the kitchen? So I try to make things that are pretty straightforward. I like to pick a protein, pick a veggie, and then kind of just build around that. Um, and then your snacks are easy. You know, you could do anything from like cucumbers to carrots. Um, oh, there's all kinds of snacks. And I, and I have tons of tons of ideas on my blogs um, and just things that I post every day to give you guys ideas. Um, and Pinterest is a great resource. I always tell people, sometimes people say um, they're looking for like full meal plans for the week. I'm talking like they want breakfast, lunch, dinner already planned out. I don't really do it that way. So if you are the type of person that wants a complete meal plan, Pinterest is a great resource. They have free meal plans that all types of people have already posted. And if that helps you, great. Um, you'll find tons of ideas there. 
So that's a way to stay on track. And then as far as the workouts, um, my schedule's a little different where I work a Monday through Friday nursing job. So a lot of nurses don't work my schedule. Um, so I basically just fit it in when I know that I have my 30 minutes. So for instance, today, since I worked at noon, I did my workout at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I get that 30 minutes in before work because I know by the time I get home, I'm gonna be tired. Um, and then I have my rest days. So I think for nurses that work 12 hour shifts, it's up to you. I mean, you kind of have to gauge what your energy level is like. Number one, you just have to make it a priority. Like you're gonna get your workouts in X amount of times per week. Whatever that number is for you, you just have to make it you know, your ultimate goal. Like I'm gonna work out five days per week. So, you know, as nurses, you're gonna have at least three days off, if not more throughout the week. So you figure if you wanna use some of your work days as your rest days, because it's a 12 hour shift, you could do that. But if your off days are on the weekend, you don't just skip your weekends um, and say, well, it's the weekend, so I don't have to work out. No, you have to plan out your workouts. On this day, I'm gonna do this workout, and the same thing, you can write it out. Um, if you're gonna do five days per week, six days per week, whatever the case is, I would say write it down on a piece of paper, keep track of it, because if you don't keep track of your workouts, um, you won't really see what your, what your pattern is. I noticed a while back that Wednesdays, for whatever reason, was hard for me to get workouts in. So for a while, I was using Wednesdays as my rest day because I just didn't feel like I had energy on Wednesdays. Well. Right now, Wednesdays, I'm not really having a problem with. So I kind of just go with how, you know, I feel as far as when I need a rest day or two, especially now that I'm in my second trimester of pregnancy. Um, for a while, I was really good and being able to consistently do um, seven days per week of working out. And they weren't always like super intense, but now that I'm, you know, four and a half months pregnant, I listen to my body and when I need an extra rest day, I'll do it. So I've been averaging five days per week of working out, if not six. So I'm, I'm really proud of that. Um, I've been sticking to my, my workout plan overall. Um, but I think that's the main thing as far as fitting your workouts in. It's not, uh, you have to make it a priority. It's not a, a thing of, well, maybe I'll get to it. Because the thing is, if you have that attitude about it, you're not going to get to it. It's a, you have to do this. It has to be a habit. Um, this is why I run my monthly challenge groups because all of the people in the group are basically doing a program. They've committed to it for at least 21 to 30 days. We all have those days in the group where we feel tired and like we don't want to do our workouts, but we're all there cheering each other on. It's like you have your accountability partners. Um, and for a lot of people, that's what it takes. Um, it's just having that accountability and other people motivating you and just you know being empathetic about the times that you didn't feel like working out but then you see everyone else in your group working out and posting their pictures or their recipes and then you think oh my gosh you know i have these people that i've committed to so i need to stick to my workouts too so if you're not the type of person who is self-motivated to work out on your own then i would suggest joining one of these types of groups that's why i run my groups online because um, it's nice because I'm able to connect with people from all over, you know, the U.S. and Canada. Um, so it's, it's nice because I don't only connect with people in California where I happen to live. Um, but if you are the type of person that likes to work out at the gym, find a gym buddy. Um, do it that way. You know, find someone to keep you accountable. Um, but at the end of the day, ultimately, you are the one that has to make the commitment and say, this is a priority of my life. Um, I'm going to give myself at least 30 minutes per day and think of it as a form of like, you know, this is just something that you are rewarding your body with. Um, a lot of times people don't realize, I mean, that it's such a privilege for us to be able to do all the things that our body is able to do. There are so many people in this world that are not able physically to do a lot of the workouts that we're all capable of doing um, just because of whatever their physical um, restrictions are. So you have to think of it in a way that this is your temple, this is your body, you're, you only have one. There's only one body throughout this lifetime. So if you don't treat it right, if you don't heal it properly, um, your life is probably gonna not be all that fulfilling and it's probably gonna be shortened. It's probably gonna be filled with some type of diseases or you know, um, just I, I see a lot of people in the hospital as a nurse that they could have not been in the hospital had they just watched what they were eating, did workouts, and I'm not talking like you have to get crazy with your workouts, but just 
be consistent, go walking, go running, you know, invest in one of these programs. Um, it's for your health. So hope that helps you, Nicole. Um, and if you need more of my help, you can always email me personally. I'm more than happy to help anyone. Um, but I hope this video helps. Have a great night.